Today on In the Woodyard, people want firewood. My job, take it to them. Here we go. Once again, it's another spectacular day here in the Woodyard, just like every other day. Sun is shining, birds are singing. Yes, they're singing. And I've got wood to deliver. So that means Uncle Benjamin's are coming home where they belong. The first order I have today is for a two-faced cords or two-thirds of a cord of mixed hardwood. So I'm gonna put in a bunch of ash. Then we're gonna put in some maple. And then the one after that, they want half birch and half ash. So that's what's gonna happen. It is fantastic out here. It's only about 50 degrees, but there's no wind and the sun is out. Just beautiful. Too bad you guys have to be sitting in a cubicle or worse yet, sitting in your own stink on the throne. Okay, trucking time. There it is, two face cords or two thirds of a cord in the trailer ready to be delivered. I'm gonna walk over to my other pile over here and show you something that I noticed when I was uh, tossing the wood into the trailer that something you guys that haven't been around a long time might be interested in when it comes to stacking your wood kind of high. And while I'm walking, I'm gonna tell you about a couple comments I had lately. People are saying, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of all the delivery of wood. Well, I'm not, that's why I cut it to sell it. Some people are like, can you do something besides deliver wood? Well, let me ask you this question. When you work hard, do you like getting paid? Cause I'm like that. So there's that. Anyway, here it is. This is uh, something I do when I go real high. I don't know if you guys can see from where I'm standing here. This pile is it's eight feet high. That's how high it was. I actually had two real big piles right here. There was one here, one here, and then one over there. And I went real high because I was trying to cram as much wood into a small space as I possibly could. And when you do that, um, first of all, I do the brace pieces on the ends like this. It's just a piece going across with a pallet on the bottom and then on the sides. And then if you see, there's a board right here connecting these two so it stops it from wobbling because of how high it is. And then over on this side, I had a piece also, this is one of those skids that I have. What I did is I just laid it on top of here and this goes all the way through through that underneath this and all the way out here and it actually connected over here on this uh, row of wood that was stacked right in here, this cord. And uh, so all three of these piles are basically tied together with running a board across. Now I have found that using just a plain old like two or three inch branch with bark on it works great because it's rough. It's not always gonna be straight, it's kind of crooked and that'll kind of bite a little better. This wood, because it's planed wood, not planed wood, but it's, I mean, it's manufactured wood, it's a little smoother so it slides a little easier, which isn't necessarily good because you want it to kind of bite onto it. But once you get weight on it, and I usually put it, you know, at about the four foot level and then it can go seven or eight feet high, but it locks everything together so it's not tipping over. So it really helps a lot. I've done that quite a few times on my piles of wood. So there's a little Tipolinsky for you. Okay, we're going to deliver some wood right now. I'm back from my delivery that I just did, and now I'm going to load up a face cord or third of a cord of ash, and then we're gonna go over to the birch, and we're gonna load up a third of a cord or face cord of birch, and we're gonna go do another dump. Look at that, another luscious load of little logs leaving the landscape of the uh, log yard. That's it. We're going down the road to do a delivery right now.
I have returned to the land of little logs and uh, my deliveries for today are done. And right now you're gonna poke some buttons because tomorrow I'll be back here 5.30 a.m. with a new video. Right now there's a video on the screen you should watch. There's almost 900 videos on my channel. Come on, go watch them. They'll be good for you. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.